episode today, I'm just going to talk about Awesome Window Manager, which is um, probably one of the easiest um, tiling window managers to get into. Um, I uh, got interested in, uh, in tiling window managers basically because I hate, I hate overlooking windows when I work. It's just a pain in the ass to be like, okay, this window is in this workspace, but I don't see it, so maybe it's behind this other window that's in front of it, and then up there, lo and behold, there it is, and you have to go see it. Just a pain in the butt. Plus, I really love Iron Man. And movies like that, and like you never see superhero movies or James movies. They never see. They never have like. They don't have those, like like unstack windows or anything. They just have really cool setup. They're just using 100% of their available screen space all the time, and it looks wicked. Um, and so I went looking for something like that, and I found this. And so this is this is just a stock, well, almost stock um, <laughs> installation of uh, Ubuntu 1310, um, and really nothing special about it. Right now, it's using Unity. I just brought it up first, and I want to show you something. This is in a, in a this is in a, a VM. So, if I want to look for something, just look how slow that comes in <laughs> with Unity, right? All that graphical, all those like, you know, expensive pixels and everything. And I'm gonna go back out, and there it goes back out. See, it's really really slow. So I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna log out. And my lineup I disappeared all in a second. No? That's odd. You have to you have to click the time? Yeah. And then oh wait, sorry, no, no, so on the right. there's a gear usually to the right of yeah, that. There is usually, but something happened like that. I think Unity not Jack there. What? I think Unity happened. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 can, you can you can just hit, hit the you know the stuff on the left and Wait. just type log out. Are you trying to kill yeah. the right. X or I'm trying to log out so I can change window managers? Oh. Yeah, log out there. Cool. Uh no. A good hack is control alt backspace. Control backspace? Control right. backspace kills X. Okay. Kills X in what way? Like will it <laughs> But you want to start a different window manager, so you want right. to start X. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll do this. It should be a little bit slower, but we'll just go to the power and shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll bring it back up. Yeah, I don't like it. It's better in a not VM. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm currently in the process of uh, partitioning this drive so I can throw it on there because it's going to work better. But for the purposes of today... Yeah, see, this is why they saved mine for last. <laughs> the best presentation of the night. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about the VMware bubble. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like five errors every time I saw it, it's not a big deal. Alright. Alright. So here we are. And we're going to go in and set up awesome. And that's it. And that's what you're looking at. So this is awesome. And <laughs> it's, it's really not much to look at, but that's the way I like it. It's really nice. Um, I'm going and we'll just start off by setting the um, wallpaper. I have to, you should do that through the configuration file, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. So we're just going into uh, Nautilus and go into pictures and grab uh, something nice about Alright, so then now it's prettier. And so basically what you have is you have these workspaces up here, and you don't see any difference because it, I'm not really there's anything on there yet. But um, you can cycle through all of them, you can have as many as you want, you can uh, name them in a, in a configuration file, set them up like that. It's really easy. Uh, it's written in Lua, which is not at all hard to work with, um, especially only you're just setting up settings with it. 
Um, if you want to open a terminal, it's easy as pie. You just hit mod key, enter, and there's your terminal. If you want to open anything else, it's, easy. it's really cool. I usually want to, if I'm like in a, um, uh, if I have to delete something that's locked or I don't have permission for it, I haven't schmodded properly, I have to open a terminal, then, you know, go sudo nautilus and open that way. This has a real simple shortcut just to, you know, uh, modulo R. And I'll just see if there's a little run prompt just popped up right there at the top. And I can type in, like, Firefox. And it should come up. Yes, <laughs> but there's no internet, so... What we can do anything really like that. Um, we can do um, PLC. I think PLC is in there. What is the key combination? It's just uh, mod key R. It's the Windows key. Oh, okay. On, um, on a Windows machine. There it is. All right, so, um, so now we got three windows open, right? So now we can do this. There we go. And we have, you see up here, you get this little icon. There's about eight or nine patterns that you can just cycle through until you find one you like, you're comfortable with. Just like that one's, that one's okay. So how did, how did you set up this, uh, this view? Set it up? Mm -hmm. This view? Yeah, how do you, where's the keyboard shortcut? For this one? Yeah. It's just a mod key spacebar. Spacebar. Yep, just cycle through. And you just keep going mm -hmm. until you find something you like. And then it goes to a full screen for whatever's selected. And then this is like, pops up in the middle, it's floating mm -hmm. above it. Um, Really, really nice, really smooth, really easy. Let's say I wanted more terminals. Why not? Look at that, see? As much as that's, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Tiny little VLC to work with, and a little tiny Firefox. I, I did notice that the whole time when you have the three windows open, yep. VLC was always big. Yeah. How easy is it to switch between, say I wanted Firefox big. You know, Firefox big? Yeah. Um, I would just probably cycle through until it got big, I suppose. It, all, it just goes through over and over and over. And I think if you have it... So I, I just thought that like 90% of the time was VLC being big, and I was wondering if there was like a way to prioritize. I want, I want my web browser to be big more often than I want platforms. There might be. Is there a Z index? <laughs> was that? Is there a Z index on Yeah, this? no, there's no Z index at all in this. <laughs> oh, except for that one layout that has it floating. That's oh. the only one that has any Z index. There's, you know, there's probably something in the okay. configuration file yeah, that you can write that, like some kind of a wait for yeah. a specific window, but I haven't got that yet. Okay. Um, and then that's, and then you want to close some, just, you know, uh, mod key, shift C. Oh, there you go. I'm just closing until the one you want pops up. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I'll just quit all my applications. <laughs> one by one. There you go. It's the new alt tab. And then here's something that's really cool I like. Um, I, mean, I don't know if people notice it, but the, the focus... It just follows the mouse. You don't have to focus on anything by clicking on it, right? And in, in truth, you don't even need the mouse. As, uh, if, you do, if you cycle through with J and K on the mod key, mm -hmm. you can cycle through on the keyboard to find the window that you want. Really, in honest, in honest, you don't even need this. You can pull it away and you can still use that. Well, yeah, you, you got a trackpad here on the laptop. What's that? Who has a screwdriver? <laughs> Even if this was taken out manually, I would I know, say. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was too good to know. Um, is the J and K part of a Vim shortcut? Does it have other Vim shortcuts if it is? Uh, I don't think it's a Vim shortcut. I think it is. One second. Uh, let's just bring up. Uh, um, if it doesn't stick in the focus when something happens, it would be the best thing, I think. What's that? Uh, if it also, uh, if uh, let's say uh, something, some event happening does not steal the focus from a, from a command prompt, for example, you're writing and then mm -hmm. alarm yeah. hits oh, yeah. and then, yeah. So, that would be good. Yeah. That would be good. I haven't got there yet. Okay. <laughs> it might. Um, one second. Let's go. Let's see where we are with this. I'll show you. Yeah. There it is. So this is this is your configuration, basically, and you can go through, and these are your layouts, and you can decide which ones you want to use. Right. If you don't like one, you just take it out. 
Um, right here, I've got all my all my desk spaces, all my workspaces set up. All of these. Where I'm in system right now. If I wanted to change that, I'm not going to do it because I have to restart the window manager. Mm -hmm. But if I want to change system to something else, you know, porn, I could do yeah. it right <laughs> here. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, and I'm guessing the layout to just be lower as well, so you could really write your own pretty easily. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, possibly. Um, and else? you can write your own widgets in here if you want. They're really all prefixed with awful. What's that? Awful button. Yeah, awful. It's, there's, there's everything. Some, it's, it's, everything's awful. There's <laughs> awful. There's vicious, and there's awesome. Oh, the three oh, okay. uh, big things that I found so far. Vicious is a library for for widgets. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten into that yet, but that like, looks really interesting. In hindsight, looking at your Doom config, I think that wallpaper was the worst choice. Yeah. This one? Yeah, just all the colors are exactly the same. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, yeah, yeah the, the good things about it are it's, um, let's see. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's fast, <laughs> it's, um, it's really light, it's really, really easy to use, um, it's, uh, it really, it's really easy to use with your hands if you're not a big mouse guy, like I don't like switching yeah. with the keyboard and the mouse back and forth, um, if you don't like the mouse, it's not necessary, and um, there was one thing that I um, Makes it look a little bit superior. That's right. That's it. <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted to say. The Iron Man fact. Um, and yeah, if, I don't have an internet connection, but if anybody has any connection right now, um, I really recommend, if you get a chance, uh, go to Unix Porn. <laughs> on, uh, what? Love it. You love it. It's awesome. Um, and find out and see some of the things people have done with it. People skin this, because it's so easy to change, to, to mess around with the theme through the little file. Um, people have all these great configurations with it, and uh, I'm going to be doing that to this one as soon as I get some time on the weekend. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend Unix Point if you guys have a chance. Um, <laughs> very, very good. Very good. That's it. Any questions? So it should be short. One question, maybe? Yep. Where are the Iron Man animations? What's that? Where are the Iron Man animations? <laughs> Uh, what kind of animations? animations? I'm sorry? Not touching this. Oh, you mean like the, the walk in, like hologram thing? Yeah. Next week. Can I ask you a job? Can I ask you a job? Maybe, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Sean.